you know, I got to admit, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the subscribers that I have. Subscribers that I have that had the nerve to tell me to watch this guy's boxing videos and his take on Wilder vs. Fury 2. If you've had to listen to the trash I've had to listen come out of this man's mouth over the last three hours. I've listened to pretty much all of it. And it's been rough on me. For example, let's start here. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. No disrespect to his other content. But when it comes to boxing, bro. Bro. I think I'm about to I think I think I'm about to have to take a personal a personal interest in this one right here because this shit looking fishy dog what are the odds that the same referee that was the referee for miguel Cotto versus margarito is the same referee that was there for deontay wilder versus fury see what's the odds of that what's the odds of that what's the odds of that and then a lot of people like to say well why the referee didn't say nothing See, you can go all through my comments. Go all through my comments. You're going to see a lot of people saying, well, why the ref how you see it and the referee didn't see it? See? See, y'all want to talk about, I'm going to prove my point. And before I go here, let me give a shout out because I'm going I'm to tell y'all who put. So basically, up until a couple of weeks ago, this guy didn't cover boxing. His name is uh, Young Pharaoh on YouTube. Now, some of his content seems pretty interesting. If you, you know, you know, been watching me for a while, you know, you know, he seems to go a little bit off the, you know. But I do strongly feel after researching that he's pandering to the weak minded boxing fans that want to believe that if anything bad happens to a black fighter where they lose or whatever, it's something nefarious going on involving the white man. I can't stand that shit. Now, the way it works in the boxing community is it's is sad on YouTube that our top black boxing YouTube vlogging channels, you know, I'm not, I'm not counting channels, you know, that just strictly focus on interviews. The vloggers take this super. Now, this is where, like, I feel that I have to dumb myself down because you get people, these people I'm talking about, that like to twist your words around and shit because, you know, of ignorance or whatever. What I'm saying was they, they take this super pro-black militant type approach to covering boxing. And it's like they be wrong when it becomes to a, it comes to a lot of shit. And then when somebody they built up so high loses that was never really good in the first place. A guy like Adrian Broner. No disrespect. But I'm talking about Adrian Broner used to have that. Oh, people just hating on him because he's black. He's going to be the next Floyd and all that. Now, look, people used to be on that same shit with him. So, when a guy like Deontay Wilder loses, people don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle it. So, for this guy right here, to me, it's disgraceful for him to be saying some of the dumb shit that he's saying. For him to be somebody who, 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 who competes in combat sports. Listen to this shit right here. So, how are you making up excuses and, and making up shit that Deontay Wilder's not saying? JD's is not saying. Breland, even though he's been signed, Silent is not saying. Deontay Wilder's wife is not posting nothing on social media. Nobody's saying none of this shit. You're making up all these excuses for him. He's not saying none of this stuff. So it's like, do you not see something wrong with this? If the fighter's not saying it, if his team is not saying it. What the fuck? So listen, listen to this shit right here. So. To me, he's lost all credibility covering boxing, in my opinion. It was sealed and contained from my own baggage. There was no chance. So how do we know? Okay, let me go back here. How do we know for sure Tyson Fury, I mean Deontay Wilder, was not drugged? Because we can see clear as day right here. This man is not normal. How do we know that they did not drug Deontay Wilder before this fight? How? You like how can you say shit like that or claim shit like that on a YouTube on YouTube, right? 
where you're getting thousands and thousands of views. Like people watch this shit, bro. Boxers, trainers, they're not, they, they clowning him. Like go on Twitter, go on social media. Like when people start, like, yo, nobody in the business. You don't have no trainers, no hand wrappers, no nobody, nobody, nowhere except it's weird. It's weird. It's really weird. Cannot say that because even Tyson Fury himself is rejecting water because it could be spiked. Even Tyson Fury himself, as far back as 2015, said that he had good resources. He got people that specifically told him, don't drink the water that's in your locker room because they might try to spike you. So now we need to find out who told him that and how do they know? Who you know what we're going to do? We're going to click to a random point in the video, and I bet you it's going to be more crazy ass shit. Let's go. Boop. 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 But you believe in that, though. But you believe in that, though. But you believe in that, though. Huh? But you believe in that, right? But you believe in that, right? Huh? Christianity, Catholicism destroyed African foundations and civilizations. But you believe in that, though, right? Huh? Woo! Let me let it play. He does have a point there, but what the fuck does that have to do with boxing? What does that have to do with boxing? What is he talking about? So already, I gotta, I gotta admit, I've seen enough. You know, like I feel disgusted and ashamed that you fucking put this shit. You too much of your T Street. What you think about this young Pharaoh videos? What the fuck is this shit, dude? Never really, he never covered boxing. Make sure it's secure. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Watch it. Watch the jab. Watch the jab. Watch the jab. Let me slow it down. Watch the jab. Watch the jab. Oh, by the way, did I say? Um, I don't know if I said at the beginning of the video or not. I do feel that Tyson Fury did ball his in the first fight. I do feel that he did ball his hand up in the glove in one of them. I do feel that that he did that shit. And obviously, if he did do it, he wouldn't be doing it in fucking um, a media workout. But that's just my personal opinion. You know, in the second fight, I don't think he did that shit. Also, for crying out loud, listen to this right here. If there's anybody to blame, you would blame these people. The people that's supposed to be watching what's going on in the corner, right? Uh, don't, don't throw, throw the, the towel in. In fact, in the dressing room when Tyson was getting his hands wrapped, uh, in one of the earlier fights, which they show on the screen in the locker room, they, uh, they had... A uh, in one of the earlier fights, which, in fact, in the dressing room when Tyson was getting his hands wrapped, uh, in one of the early, in fact, in the dressing room when. Listen, I got to be honest with you. I would have more joy covering a fucking or doing a video on an Onito Denaire versus a Nordine Obali than to be doing a video on this shit. Like, I feel dirty even covering this shit. Like, I gotta go take a shower right now. Like, for real, for real. Like, this is disgusting. Like, this is really some disgusting ass shit. And no, you know, disrespect to the dude, but I think he's doing these boxing videos every day now because he's pandering to that community. That's how I feel. And he's saying this shit and they eating it up. Or are people watching all this shit in parody? Like, oh, this shit funny. Look at this crazy asshole. I think you know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't know. He's got positive likes, man. But see, this is what all those fucking Deontay Wilder fans want to hear. You know, they want all these excuses and conspiracy theories that their guy lost. They put all their hope in. Not really, like, relying on one punch. for You can't rely on that shit. You know, but it is what it is, man. You know, I'm done talking about it. Like I said, I get no joy. I don't have any passion, you know, covering this. I want to move on to something else. So, for those who been telling me like yo t Street, you need to do a video on him and talk about you know you know and debunk this shit it's like yo dude i can't take this man seriously like this shit is a joke i would have a field day with this like if i really put my heart into it this is a joke like come on man this is no challenge i'm t Street controversy with fightv360.com cover every single major fight live please subscribe this watch this watch this this is the recent fight. This is the recent fight. Look, it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence 
It's not a coincidence. Now let me let me let me show. Let me bring up the the, the uh, spike water. Okay. Let me bring up the spike water. Let me bring up the spike water. Okay. Mind you, uh, to my understanding, a piss test was supposed to be taken before and after the fight. If a piss test was not taken before the fight, it was definitely one taken after. We still don't have the results. Why don't we still have the results of these people test? He's questioning Vada now, ladies and gentlemen. He is questioning Vada. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.